This video will cover how to build and organize mechanical assemblies and take them off in Estimation MEP. When you open Estimation MEP, you start at the All Estimates page. In the lower left-hand corner, there is an icon for My Content. When you select this icon, you can then select the Assembly Library option. And you will then be shown the assembly library where you can build custom assemblies and organize them into a customized folder tree structure. There are two main pages in the assembly library and you will always start on this page where you can build the assembly folder tree structure to organize the assemblies on the left hand side of the screen. And on the right hand side of the screen, you will see the assemblies that are in the folder that is selected in the tree. When creating mechanical assemblies, select the mechanical tab. I have already created a couple of folders. To add a new folder, you just select the plus icon sign above the folder tree. A dialog opens up where you can enter a name for the folder. I will call this folder floor drain. And when creating a new folder, you have two options. You can add the new folder at the top level or you can add the new folder as a subfolder under the currently selected folder in the tree. For this example, I will add it as a subfolder, so I will not check the add to top level folder checkbox. When you're ready, just add to add the folder, just press the create button. Since this is a new folder, you do not see any assemblies in the right hand side of the screen. When you select a folder in the tree, you can also delete the folder and all of its contents, and you can edit the name of the folder via the icons above the folder tree. The next step is to create a new assembly, and when you create a new assembly, it will automatically be placed in the folder that is selected in the folder tree. Pressing the Create Assembly button will take you to the other page in the assembly library where you can then create an assembly. On the left-hand side of the new screen, you will see a table that lists all of the items that have been added to the assembly. There's also a place above this list to give the assembly a name. And I'm going to call this two inch floor drain. And then in the lower left-hand corner, you will also see the labor and price for the assembly as you build it up. The next step is to add some items to the assembly. This is done by searching the items database and selecting items and then adding them to the assembly. You can search using a keyword like copper elbow. Or you can drill down to the component hierarchy to find what you are looking for. For illustrative purposes, I will use the drill down to get to this point in the tree structure. When you get a lot of results, you can filter the list by selecting the filter icon and then selecting a parameter to filter the results on. And then choosing the parameters to filter in this list, I will choose a two as my filter and apply it. To add an item, just select it in the results list and press the add button. For illustrative purposes and to speed things up a bit, I will just select and add a couple of items from this list. You can now see the price and labor for this assembly. And as I change the quantity of each item in the assembly, the price and labor are adjusted accordingly. When you're done adding items to the assembly, the last step is to save the assembly, and you do that by pressing the Save button. To get back to the folder tree page, just press the Close button. And you will see the assembly that you just created has been placed in the folder that was selected in the tree just before the assembly was created. After an assembly has been created and is visible in the list, 
you can select it in the list and then you can edit it, delete it, or duplicate it via the icons above the list of assemblies. That covers everything when it comes to creating an assembly and I will now move on to show you how to take off an assembly in Estimation MEP. I'm gonna go back into the project menu and select a project. And then I will select an estimate. I've already started this estimate, but I'll show you how to add an assembly to this estimate. In the takeoff area, you will see a tab called Assemblies. When you select this tab, you will see the exact same assembly tree structure that you have in the assembly library area. You can drill down through this tree structure or you can enter some text into the text search box and search for an assembly. After you have searched for an assembly, the results will be shown in the list on the right hand side of the screen. At this point, you can select an assembly to initiate the takeoff process. Before you take off the assembly, you can modify it if you want, but be advised that any changes made to the assembly will only be available in this estimate. So here you can change the base setting of an item and you can change how many of each item you want. So you can change the base of an item from count to length so that this item is now based on the length that you actually draw in your when you're taking off the assembly. And I'm just going to switch that one back just to keep this one set up for all count. And you can also change how many of these items you want also. So I'm gonna say I want three of these also, and I'll just change that there. And now I will take off this a couple of times in the drawing. The next step, and okay, I've got that in there, and you can see the total price and the total labor for all six of these assemblies. The next step is to select the audit trail tab to see the assembly has been added into the estimate. You can see it's here at the top row in the audit trail. There are a couple of options in the audit trail that can be used for assemblies. When you select an assembly in the audit trail, you can then duplicate the assembly by selecting the duplicate icon. And you can edit the assembly after takeoff if necessary by selecting the edit icon. This covers all of the functionality for creating and organizing custom assemblies and taking them off in estimation MEP.